two young chefs decided to go out for a walk after a tiresome shift at the Pitlockry Hotel on the outskirts of Cairngorms National Park in Scotland. It was 9 p.m., the air was fresh, and the light was dwindling steadily. The two mates drove some miles to Calvin, close to the edge of the Cairngorms, where they began a walk across the hills. Suddenly, up in the skies, they saw a strange-looking diamond-shaped object over a hundred feet long. It hovered above them as if searching for something. The puzzled men went straight to the bushes to hide, but they kept watching. The mysterious flying object stayed there. Then, two British fighters passed through the area as if nothing had happened. Strangely enough, one returned as if the pilot had seen that strange flying object. The frightened chefs desperately took some pictures of the flying object with a camera. The UFO violently flew vertically and disappeared above the sky. It was never seen again, but the two cooks had evidence of what they had witnessed and it would take a long time to unravel the mystery of what it was. Black Project During the early years of the Cold War, the United States and the Soviet Union were engaged in high-risk, high-reward espionage missions to gather the latest information about their counterpart. In 1956, the United States Air Force introduced the Lockheed U-2, a single-engine, high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft. Also known as the Dragon Lady, it was operated by both the USAF and the CIA at altitudes of over 70,000 feet to gather intelligence under any weather conditions. The aircraft, piloted by one man, excelled at its purpose, but was not invincible against enemy surface-to-air missiles which led to several shootdowns during the early 1960s. The USAF issued requirements for a more powerful long-range, high-altitude spy plane. The result was Lockheed's SR-71 Blackbird, a Mach 3-plus strategic reconnaissance aircraft. The Blackbird was part of a black project, a highly classified, top-secret program derived from the Lockheed A-12 reconnaissance aircraft. The SR-71 entered service in 1966 during the height of the Vietnam War, and served the USAF, CIA, and NASA like no aircraft had ever done before. Despite its innovative use of titanium alloy for the structure, composite materials, radar countermeasures, and unique design that resulted in increased stealth technology, the Blackbird began to age in the early 1980s. Not willing to give up the edge they had against the Soviets with the fastest and stealthiest aircraft ever developed, American military planners commenced the development of a hypersonic spy plane capable of Mach 5 plus speeds, greatly surpassing the record set by the Blackbird. Unverified Sighting Although the military had high spirits for the new top-secret aircraft, the project never went too far, or at the very least, only a select number of people knew about it. Strangely enough, U.S. defense budget personnel noted that large amounts of money were missing or mysteriously allocated to black projects. The main objective was to replace the SR-71 Blackbird fleet, which cost the military between $200 and $300 million annually. The project was known as the Special Access Program, or SAP, a new black program of a strictly classified nature. Still, word got around in 1985 of budget requests for an SR-71 and U-2 successor referred to as Aurora. Approximately $455 million were to be allocated for a black aircraft for the fiscal year 1987. Funding for the project quickly rose to over $2.7 billion, but development was kept secret. In the early 1990s, several strange unverified sightings began to take place in the United States and the United Kingdom, leading some analysts to speculate that the U.S. was indeed working on a new Mach 5 aircraft. In August 1989, Oil exploration engineer Chris Gibson was working on the jackup barge GSF Galveston Key in the North Sea when he sighted something unusual in the sky. The engineers saw a strange-looking triangle-shaped aircraft refueling from a Boeing Strato tanker while accompanied by two F-111 fighters. Gibson quickly sketched the Delta-shaped airplane, but the unique sighting was only made public three years later. In 1992, British Defense Secretary Tom King said the Ministry of Defense had no knowledge of a black program, but did not deny that such an aircraft existed, leading to more suspicions of a new stealth hypersonic aircraft being developed by the military. 
SAS cover-up. Aviation analysts specified that Gibson may have seen a B-2 Spirit bomber, which also featured a triangular shape and had flown for the first time in 1989. Others explained he could have seen an F-117 Nighthawk, which the Royal Air Force tested in the late 1980s. Whichever the case, the mystery continued to accumulate. In 1992, unusual sonic booms were detected in Southern California and the Netherlands. A U.S. ham radio also intercepted a transmission from an aircraft flying at an altitude of over 65,000 feet. More importantly, a classified U.S. aircraft crashed at the British Experimental Air Base at Boscombe Down, Hampshire, in September 1994. The nature of this aircraft was so secretive that the elite British Special Air Service, or SAS, immediately arrived at the area to establish a cordon around the wreckage. The next day, more SAS servicemen arrived at the area. They were photographed wearing plain clothes and protected by the tarpaulin erected at the wreckage. On September 28th, a C-5 Galaxy transport arrived to carry the wreckage back to the United States. No one knew what the SAS had hidden, and neither the US nor the UK acknowledged the incident. But the sightings kept coming. The triangular-shaped aircraft was seen multiple times in the North Sea and the Netherlands. It seemed that the classified successor to the SR-71, Aurora, was flying around the globe, and it was being noticed. Surviving photo. In August 2022, an amazing discovery surfaced on the web. After 32 years of darkness, the first authentic picture of the mythical Aurora was made public, although not without controversy. During the night in August 1990, two chefs on their way to Calvine, a spot on the edge of the Cairngorm, Scotland, spotted a diamond-shaped aircraft hovering over the area. Then, a pair of RAF tornado fighters passed by, and one of them made a second pass to inspect the strange-looking object. At this moment, the two chefs grabbed their cameras and took several pictures. An instant later, the object disappeared from the sky. The sight of the UFO convinced the men to take the photos to a newspaper for publishing, but the story was never published, and the Ministry of Defense confiscated the pictures. It wasn't until 32 years later that David Clark from the Daily Mail stumbled upon retired RAF officer Craig Lindsay, one of the men who interviewed the chefs during that fateful night. Normally, classified information of this nature remains secret for 30 years. Still, the Ministry of Defense decided to keep the photos and witness accounts secret until 2076 for unspecified reasons. Still, Lindsay defied the MOD and stashed a copy of the UFO picture for himself. He kept it a secret for 32 years, and at 83 years of age, decided it was time to tell his part of the story. The black and white photo shows the exact moment one of the tornado fighters returns to analyze the diamond-shaped craft. The photo is focused on the object and the trees, and the fence looks blurry, as if taken during a moment of panic, according to the author. The Long Wait The picture clarified something that the former head of Lockheed Skunk Works Division, Ben Rich, wrote in his 1994 book, Skunk Works, a personal memoir of my years at Lockheed. He suggests the mythical Aurora was the budgetary name for the B-2 Spirit Bomber. Although that should suffice to end the mystery, other analysts still believe Aurora existed, but was cancelled during the shift from spy aircraft with human pilots to UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles. For now, those was curious enough to find the truth will have to wait until 2076, when the Ministry of Defense decides to declassify the sources of the strange sightings. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Footage channel to find more mysteries that have remained unsolved for decades. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos.